Howdy, Biffle Hub Bart here, and welcome. Yeah. I'm religion for why you hate me so much. Doing something simple, you know. Player start, map, simple target dummy, just a NPC, runs around. And let's change the distance. So, yeah, nothing. He just walks around. When he dies, he just gets deleted. That's it. Simple drone. So that whenever I hit play, we got one just sitting here on the map. Hit play. It drops down. Pauses for a second. Tracks his target. And bam. Destroys him. Simple, right? So let's add a second target in here. So we've got two of them to shoot at. So okay, these guys just roam around. Seeker just picks out one target, and no problem. So I'm going to spawn one into the game. Hello. Go after target. I kick your ass off the damn map. But spawn the bastards in, and. They don't do a damn thing. Except self-destruct whenever the time comes. That's it. That's all they do. Press the one key, spawn actor, and there you go. Okay. Um, this one is the drone. I've got two different types here. So, two make it a bit more effective. We're going to go ahead and change this timer to 20 seconds before it self-destructs, and we're going to wait for 10 seconds before we acquire our target and go after it. And we're going to put the other version that I, I created, which was called the Seeker. We'll drop it in the map. So we got a Seeker, and we got the, uh, the drone. Hit play. That guy will just roll across the ground, find his target, and boom, done. Now his timer's up, he'll find his target, and he'll go after a target, and boom, works just fine. Let's add a third target in here. No big deal, right? We've got two different types of weapon systems here. Boom, finds it, blows up. Now your time's up, you're going to go ahead and find your target, and now, boom, you pick your target, and you just happen to go after him. So I'll spawn one of these guys, nothing. Wait for its time to come up, mm, it just sits there, does nothing. It'll wait until it, it its timer runs up, and it will self-destruct. So what am I missing here? So well, let's take the uh, the seeker mine back out because they're both doing the same thing. We're just going to put you back at one second delay and ten second uh, self destruct. So when you go in, you pause for a second, you pick a target, and boom, you go. Now naturally, this is not the optimal targeting system because well. You know, in theory, you know, they, they should have worked. But, you know, maybe if I did a line trace, create a target, assign a target to it, and that kind of stuff, well, I did that first. And you would think that it would just work, right? Yeah, it'll bug me if it's not at the zero location. So, why don't you work? I mean, I can put you at 2,000. You're right there where I am. We're spawning together. You go, you find your target, you track it, you blow up. We can adjust the speed if we want to. Um, but we want it to be faster than what we're going after. So, 
on even begin play, the drone gets all actors of class. Okay, and from there, it finds the nearest one or whatever one it picks. May not be the best method of targeting, but it works whenever I spawn it into the map. So why the hell doesn't it work whenever I spawn it manually? If I use the map to run a delay and then spawn one in, um, no matter how I do it, and this is just the, uh, the self-destruct sequence right here. It's a delay of 10 seconds and it just blows itself up. But on begin play, we wait one second, we get a target, which is get all actors of class. I mean, I, I've i actually done differently, I, um, which I'll create a, a clone version of this and duplicate. Nope, I don't want the seeker. I want the drone. So, duplicate. We got drone one. Don't care about the name. If I were to go in here and just for shits and grins, I'm going to delete everything. So, nothing's there. I'm actually using a pawn, and I'm using a pawn sensing, which I'm not even using, so I can get rid of that. And I'm just using a floating movement, and the drone itself is actually the root. So, it's just a round ball, static mesh that I threw together from a BSP geometry. So, what I wanted to do is, let's go ahead and chase down the character. So we'll do cast to player character. In fact, let's just go to cast to character. So technically any character that it finds. We'll try get owner, see if that works. Okay, so whatever it does that, it's going to cast two characters. So whatever character it comes up with, we don't have a delay. We're just going to do this. We're going to AI move two because it does have movement, so it can move. And in this case, it's going to go to there. We're going to get a reference to the self for who we're actually moving and yep that should be fine so if we just do that we're going to find our character and go after him so we'll drop drone one into the map hit play <laughs> nothing right So let's actually try. Going directly to the character. Get player character. And it should go after a controlled player. So at this point, target actor will be that and that. I've gone round and round and round trying to figure out how to and see it's already there. I mean it it tracked me already. So let's actually move it. That's drone one. Let's move it over here. And see you know, it went right to me. No problem whatsoever. Of course it stopped, but it got to me. It completed what it was doing. So, you can see, bam, right to me. And let's actually change that over. We want it to not be the, the player character. Let's go for the 
the target dummy. Um, let's try get owner. Don't know if it'll work or not, but we'll find out. Plug that in. We want to go to the target dummy. Nothing. Okay, so it doesn't like that. But if I do this, get all actors of class and do target dummy. It'll go after whatever it decides to pick out. And we're just going to throw you underneath there. And for each loop, connect that in there. Targeted actor, go after that. And so that we know that it's not the same one, let's give it a different color. Put starter content in here for some reason. Well, because I wanted the explosion materials and stuff. Alright, so it, it did. It, it, it went after them. Of course, they kicked it out of the way, but... So it did what it was supposed to do. It went after that. You know, it picked a target dummy. Let's go ahead and remove the original drone. So when it gets to its target, let's have it um, play sound at location. Well, the explosion cue, and let's go ahead and spawn emitter at location. And let's use the explosion, scale it up to five, just so it's big. And then we'll get extra location. Plug that in there and there for the location. And then we'll have it um, destroy itself. We don't care about applying damage, but we can. Let's go ahead and do that. Might as well. Or learn how to spell. Apply damage. We're doing a hundred. Compile, save, and now if we go back in here and play, it hit him. Oh, we didn't tell to uh, damage. Drug from there, damaged actor will be the one that it hits. So off it goes and boom. These guys are worthless so let's change that over to drone one. We press the one key. There we go. You know I'm trying different things in here. Always spawn, ignore collisions. Try to adjust location but always spawn. Do not spawn, whatever. Um, it normally defaults to default. So we'll do that. It does its thing. It hit somebody else and bounced off, but whatever. So now we spawn in another one. It just falls to the ground, does nothing. Why is it whenever I spawn one? They do nothing. So like we did before, we just come back over here and just run a sequence. So what am I missing? What am I forgetting to do? 
I've tried this with spawning AI um, so that I could trigger um, an event to spawn zombies or what have you and it's the same process whether it's this or if I were spawning one of the the NPCs it wouldn't matter um, it's doing the same thing um, delay and let's give it a no not 140 but 10 second delay and then just because we're cool grab those and just make it blow up so who's got clues here so that one bam worked just fine spawn that one nothing because of the uh, spawn condition is oh you let me spawn four in that one spot to destroy itself. There we go. And I'm going to go back with on here. And let's move this guy back. No matter how high we put it, it's going to fall. Now let's do negative 1800 so it's nearer to the player. So it'll spawn right there in front of us and fall to the ground and zip on across, find its target, and boom, done. I spawn one, it doesn't do anything. Spawn a bunch of them. They don't do a thing, but self-destruct. What am I doing wrong? And it has to be with this. My method of spawning. Spawn actor from class and spawning this in. Is there a different spawn? I mean, I, spawning things is no problem. Spawning them into the map. But why aren't they acquiring the target? I've tried spawning them with a delay and then you know for the targeting and nothing nothing matters because if I go back in here and drone one and on this right here put a delay in we'll make this a one one second delay so it pauses for a second and then goes after its target. It then picks a target and then goes after the target. So one second pause and then off it goes. No problem. Spawn it. Does nothing. Those same basic actors are there. Like I said, if I went in here and put this at a 10 second delay before it does its thing, and then use the original drone with a 1 second delay. So let's put a drone in here. Hit play, 1 second later, boom, it goes after a target, and done. Now, blue one acquires a target, and blew up for some reason. Um, oh, because 10 seconds. 
So for now, we'll increase the duration. It waited 10 seconds, and that was the same for its self-destruct. So, okay, that one goes after its target. Bam, gone. After 10 seconds is up, the blue one will then pick a target and go after it. No problem. I could, you know, do this all day long, but if I press 1, nothing happens. You sure it's going to have to wait 10 seconds before it's supposed to go after a target? But I could do the same thing with um, here and... Keyboard 2. You know, I'll just copy all of this. And change this one back to the original drone. So, red goes after his target, no problem. Finds it, blows up, kills him. Then, time for blue to spawn, or to start rolling out. And off it goes. Target, and good. Spawn one. Spawn two. Okay. Go after your target. Nope. You're just going to self-destruct. What about you? Come on, blue. What are you going to do? At the time that red blew up, blue should have been going after his target nothing. So why is it that these are not cooperating? Jing up to five seconds. If they're both here and they're both going after a target, they're both going to pick the same target usually. So we had to put a timer in to make sure that they were gone. So anybody have a clue of why whenever I spawn something, it doesn't work? So we can close those down. We know that they work when they're spawned in this way. So am I, am I missing something in the, the spawn type, or do I need to tell it to do something, or... Do I need to provide the targeting here? And let's do that with drone one. Let's actually go ahead and just delete this, the original drone. And let's go ahead and get all actors of class. I could do more specific targeting and, and actually aim and fire a line trace and that kind of stuff to actually provide a target. But I've tried that already and it did not work. So okay, we've we've picked a random target of the ones that are there. And then if we look in drone Let's add in a target. And we'll go ahead and get rid of this. We'll wait one second, and then we're going to go after the target actor. So target needs to be um, I mean if I just did that it would just be a, a target reference to whatever um, but you know what start simple work up this is a direct reference to the target. 
So if we get that and plug it into there and plug this into here. And I'm just going to move these down. So that's what it's doing. So technically speaking right now, it's going to find that. Let's get rid of drone one. So if we hit that, bam, it went to zero, zero, zero location because it didn't have the correct information. So we can actually try going into here and what was that variable called? Target. Instead, let's do this. Promote to variable, target, now, why it's target dummy here. And oh, dumbass. Um, because that we need to actually get a reference to the um, the spawned unit here and set our target. to that. So, technically, that one's defunct. It's not going to do anything. Because it did not have that information. That one does. You dick. Why are you not coming up here with the balls? So we set the target in here, um, but this doesn't actually have a target, so it needed to actually be, if we do um, this. That should be the target dummy reference. Let's get that one out of there because it's a, a bad element here. So I've come up from here and we try to set that again. It's not liking this. We're giving it the actual target to go after. And then after one second it should go after it. So it's still going after a zero 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 location because it doesn't currently have on its own the targeting information. It has to have that information on its own. So that didn't help at all.
So we're still going to spawn that in, and then the drone itself is going to have to have a reference of who it's going after. And that can go away. And we need to put this in after the delay. Get all actors of class. I mean, I could do with tag and manually add a tag, but whatever. Target dummy. I'm going to add the for each loop in after we move you because you're always in the damn way. And unfortunately necessary because it doesn't automatically get a reference to itself. And who it's going after is whoever. Whatever target dummy is available. Damaged actor. So that should in theory then have it going after one of the bots again. And it worked. So now I spawn it into the map. Doesn't do shit. Not doing anything. But looking cool when it blows up. You know, if I just put in a bunch of these, they're going to go after the same target. So, with another one in here, they're both going to pause and go after the same guy. And since he's no longer available, the other one's going to fail. And just self-destruct. But why don't you work when I spawn you? It's the same freaking dude here. This one works perfect. And if I just delete that one completely and just hit play, why isn't it getting a target? Somebody got to put me out of my misery here. I'm spawning it, and it doesn't do anything. I mean, spawn actor from class, and spawning the drone in, or the seeker, or drone one, doesn't matter which one I spawn in. Um, yeah, I mean, what do I do? Do I add the movement component, the movement here inside this and get the actual actor and that kind of stuff and, and tell it to actually target I mean one thing that I can try here that I haven't already so we're going to get rid of that one let's go back into drone 1 and we're going to delete all that stuff even delete that because as far as it knows it's just going to sit there and wait for 20 seconds and blow up on its own and in fact let's change it to 10 so that's all it knows is after 10 seconds it's just going to self-destruct so if now we change this to drone one that we're going to spawn does nothing It'll just spawn it, it'll sit there, 10 seconds later, it's just going to blow up, right? So now if we actually do its movement and try to get its AI movement done in here, let's try that. Because, psh, screw it, everything else is not working. So we're spawning the actor, and then we're going to get all actors of class. So it'll just pick any of them at random 
and any of the tar target dummies. We'll do a for each loop. Connect that in. So now we have a direct reference here of the target. So if we do AI move to and target actor will be this and the pawn that we're actually moving is going to be that guy. Let's actually do this so we can see it. Add a reroute node in. want to do that and then we could do this and then we could just do this so it's neat and organized you can see what's going to where so we spawn the drone we find a target we tell it to move and let's just see if it moves. So now, if I spawn it, why isn't it going after target? Drone 1, as far as it knows, it's just going to blow up. But I'm telling it to move now inside the player. Once I spawn it in, I'm telling it to move here. So what's, what's the problem? Well, if I grab the location. So it just goes somewhere. Spawn it nothing happens. I manually spawn one in. Nothing will happen because it doesn't know to actually move on its own. If I grab the other drone, throw it in here, works like a champ, right? Why don't you work? Spawn 800, you bastards. Why don't you seek? Was trying to create the Seeker Mines from uh, the Division. I mean, I can change the method of targeting doesn't appear that telling it to do anything in here is actually working. So just spawning it in doesn't seem to work. So let's um, throw our sequence back in. Somebody got to help me out here. Some got to give me some ideas. So that's our self-destruct. In fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and right-click on this and collapse to function. No. Will you? No. You won't. You won't let me do it because there's a delay in there. So I can do this. Collapse to macro and self-destruct. So all the self-destruct stuff is in here now. Nice, neat, clean, organized. I don't want to worry about it. And I'm just going to move it down to one. And just move it out of the way. So, what we had here before was delay. And that was just mostly cosmetic, but we're going to put a one second delay in. And then we're going to
pre cast to the, the target dummy this way. And just get owner. And then run AI move to. And we're going after a target dummy. That's all we care about. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Go to there. And get a reference to self. Because if we don't, it's just not going to do anything at all. Um, so it's just going to do that. It's just going to go after him. So the red one works just fine. That's drone one. It doesn't like the um, the cast two nodes. So that's why I went with get all actors of class. All right. And if I were to manually care. Uh, target my character with the player and then set a variable in here it, either way all it has to do is just um, um, get an actor I don't care which one it is just grab any frickin one of these target dummies any of them don't care In fact, let's get rid of the red one because we know it works it's no problem we know it works when I just put it into the map, but and let's go ahead and for each loop. So now it's just gonna grab whatever is available for the target actor. And then you're gonna track. We'll build other functionality back into it lighter. We just want it to go there. So, there. And poof. It found the target, went after it, and that's it. It doesn't do anything once it completes. Doesn't matter. But, if I spawn another one in, well, it'll self-destruct after 10 seconds. Spawn another one, or another one. Why aren't they doing the same thing as the one that was already in the map? Why? Why, 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 why? Go back into here and... Grab that. Yes, honey. And now we have the, the blow-up stuff. So again, the one that's already in the map. Wow. Um, the hell was all that about? You just fucking blow up on your own. Um, wait your one second. Get your actor. You move to it. Oh. On success, not just now. All right, so now goes after target. Doesn't matter where he goes, and we didn't tell it to do damage. On success. Let's go ahead and do anything more than 100 damage because the bots only got 100 damage 100 health we just want to do a, a complete kill so secret mine goes out by the target blows up <sighs> damaged actor you'd think this was the first time ever doing anything with Unreal Engine 4 as many times I've rebuilt this frickin basic component. Um, okay, spawn a new one in. 
One second later, it should be going after the target. Why aren't you going after the target? You're just sitting there. Go. Here, let me kick you. That didn't help. No, nope, just launch into friggin' orbit. Alright, anybody got an idea? Any idea? Press one, spawn actor. Spawning this actor. Who is going to wait one second, grab the first available target dummy. It's going to move to it. It's going to apply damage, play the explosion cue, a sound cue, and then the emitter, and then destroy itself after doing 150 damage. So it works perfectly fine when I manually put one into the map and hit play. Boom. It goes off. It doesn't matter where that bot goes. It's going to trigger and it's going to find it. It's going to get him and kill him. So again, if it's already in the map, works fine. I spawn one. Doesn't do jack shit. Anybody got a clue? For spawning the actor. You know, after I spawn you, do your fucking job. What? There's no, no note for that? What am I supposed to do besides spawning the actor into the world? I'm not creating a player because it's not a player. Spawn actor from class just doesn't work. Um, I'm not doing bass, so that doesn't matter. Not doing an audio capture. Create event. Create Steam ID from string. Create advanced session. And we're not making an in-app purchase. Creating sessions. Nobody, no talkers tonight. So why does it work when I manually have it in the map, but not when I I, I spawn it in from my player? Spawn AI from class? I forgot about this node. Drone 1. I don't have a behavior tree. Um... Well, thank you for the sub. I didn't create a behavior tree. I completely forgot about you. Oh, well, we know you work. Um, well, there's nothing I need to do in there. Spawn AI from class. Pawn class is drone one. And that did not work. I don't have a behavior tree. Location. Well, let's try. Um, yeah. Get world location. Plug the location in for the spawn now. All 
Alright, so we know that one works. It goes off, does its job. And we spawn one in. Holy shit, it's working. Son of a bitch. Totally forgot. See, let this be a lesson to you fools. Like me. I I'm the biggest damn fool there is. Um, I completely forgot about the spawn AI. I'm spawning an actor, thinking of spawning a gun or a grenade or whatever else, thinking that it's a conventional actor. Well, I've created it as an AI. Because it's doing an AI function. It's doing something. So... Yeah, kind of feel like a dumbass, and you guys let me continue to look like a dumbass without saying, hey, why don't you try this? Now I can put many of these guys in here as I want. 500. Why not? Let's put you at 250, because I have such an OCD on, on numbers. So we got four bad guys in here. They're all running around, poof, it picks a random target, and goes after them, and you're done. Fire off another one. You're done. Fire off another one. And you're done. Let's fire off another one. And you're done. So we've made a secret mine from Division. If there's no target, then, well, there's just no target. And it's just going to sit there and do nothing. You can just... Wait for it, and it'll self-destruct. After... How long did I put that one out? Um, Ten seconds? Okay. Let's go in here, and... I think I have... Let's do Chrome. Let's make it purdy. I mean, technically, I don't have to use this homemade static mesh. I mean, I could use sphere shape. Ooh, no. We'll use that one because it's sized correctly. Now, go in here. We don't have to have that delay in there anymore. If I fire it off a couple. He already went for his target and couldn't find one. So he'll just self-destruct. He went for the same target that was of one that was already deployed, and since the target was no longer there, we didn't build any logic into it to say, hey, if you fail, um, what do we do if we fail? Um, and I know it probably won't like that. Both are on the same node. So, let's on fail. Let's try pushing it back to there. So we'll fire off one, then we'll fire off a second one. They're going after the same target. It failed, so it picked another target and went after that one. So, that's a simple logic for it. You lost your target, so you went for another one. Ah, oh, me likey. Me likey a lot now. I was kind of working with this idea for the first person shooter template. I wanted a seeker mine so that, um, you know, I could, well, create something from the division that I like. I mean, I'm total noob on the division. Doesn't mean I, I don't like playing it, uh, but I am kind of noob. So, just more targets to, to play with. So, just spawn a bunch of them out there. Ooh, crap, they're on top of each other. <laughs> As they fail, um, they're going after different targets. Okay, it's a very primitive method for doing a um, seeker mine. But it works, <laughs> you know? 
we'll create a whole different targeting system so that um, if you want you can do a, a separate targeting system um, or if you want to throw it you know projectile um, the way you would probably want to do that is you create the original projectile so when you throw the projectile and it actually contacts the ground it destroys itself but then at that spot before it destroys itself it becomes invisible and then spawns this version that would then go after the target and then instead of doing um, just get all actors of a class we don't want to go for one that's four miles away um, we'll come up with a different way of setting for the range so it's once you know now that this is actually working God, this kicks my ass because I had the um, the zombie system set up to where in the other thing whenever I spawn in I want to be able to go through my my admin capabilities and spawn in zombies at a certain location ooh what the hell y'all kicked out and clean off the freaking map or I kicked them off the map NPC just kicked that one. So, as a failsafe, um, what happens is if some if a different AI hits it, you should probably have a collision box on it for a failsafe. So if it does interact with another one of these bots, then it'll actually blow up because they're actually running over the, the one that's not the target getting run over by somebody else and then it's kicking it off the frickin' map. Oh, I didn't even see him over there. It doesn't matter where they go, they're gonna get blown the hell up. I mean, put obstacles in the map, doesn't matter. Um, grab architecture here and... Just throw stuff in here just to. If you guys haven't played the division, um, Control C, Control V. One of the um, the weapons that's for more of a tech class <clears throat> is called the Seeker Mine, and there's different versions of the Seeker Mine. Just an example there. Um, that you can actually throw it out and when you do throw it it will actually um, find targets within a certain radius and it will uh, go towards that target the closest target to where you threw it down so you went through the doorway to go find them why are you, why are you standing on me? go away Of the different variants, uh, one of them is an air burst where it'll actually fly up into the air close to the target before it actually detonates. So it has like a, a grenade effect blowing up in the air. Um, see, that would have just killed me. No more targets. So. Um, one of the other ones is the cluster type, which what I'm thinking about doing is actually, now that I've got this down, I'm actually off camera going in and creating an actual division style seeker mine that will run off of just standalone. It would just be basic but it'll be something that I can either sell normally or via the uh, the marketplace so I'll continue to work on the logic of it but the cluster type is, as soon as you deploy it it starts going towards your target and then it splits off and will get individual targets Deploy a bunch of 
<laughs> it's kind of funny to watch them whenever you deploy them. You know, playing the Division 2, I mean, I've I got plenty of Divi Vi Division and Division 2 videos that, are, that I've got out that um, show me using Seeker Mines. But what I'll do is I'll continue to develop the Seeker Mine and make it to where it is just as l small, simple, easy to integrate into any first person, third person uh, shooter project as possible. So basically all you're doing is when you get it, you're adding a blueprint. It is narrow or smaller blueprint as possible, uh, as less files as possible. I mean, honestly, all you do is bam and do it. Drop it into your character. As you can see, it was just a simple this is all, all it is in the player. You tell it how you're going to deploy it, and there you go. Um, I will try to keep it as minimal as possible, and once I get everything done, this is actually set up in a multiplayer um, scenario. I haven't replicated it yet, um, so I don't know what it's going to look like. All right, so this is the client. Client deploys it. The client can see it, but it doesn't work. Server can come over, deploy one. Uh, the client can see it and see it work for the most part. Not very smooth. Um, Yeah, I'll work on the multiplayer portion of it, um, set up the network relevancy and that kind of stuff, so that um, it is evident. Um, like I said, I have not tried to do any replication on it. Um, we'll try to make it so that it is fully multiplayer replicated and functional um, so that whenever it's spawned in alright client I spawn one and it does not work that's fine we can fix that server spawns one little jerky and the explosion why did it blow up at Yeah, see, somebody kicked it. We'll have to do a fail safe on it. You son of a bitch, you kick it. I will kick you in the nuts. Bots are freaking swarming around me here. And they keep kicking the damn things. I can kind of see them um, with the client. They're not perfect, but so we probably just need to go ahead and replicate it here, so that um, and I'm gonna have to play around with it a little bit, get it just right on the replication, because they um, if I do it wrong when the client does it, it'll spawn once. But when the server does it, it'll spawn twice, and yeah. My dyslexia is the biggest issue on that. So let's do a custom, let's try client, spawn, um, keep it short. Preferably spelled correctly too. Client seeker. Um, let's run a multicast and then do that. Okay, and then Why 
Phone seeker. And I'm going to get this wrong. I'll have to play around with it a little bit back and forth to actually um, get it to actually correctly multiply replicate. Um, and I'm sure this is wrong. Spawn it. Goes out. Client did see it, by the way. And see the explosion. It's going to launch a bunch of them. And watch it on server. Alright, so you guys can see. Um, I don't normally do this. So that's why I have it set this way the joy is if you're doing um, I'm religion 4 or unity or whatever if you're making games get a second monitor get a third monitor get a you know all right so client do 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 do, do. get the hell out of my ass I will punch you in the nose spawned server saw it it went out um, all right the explosions not replicating oh that would just totally dead it um, all right they're self-destructing Yep, they're all broke. Um, I guess I'll, I'll tweak around with this, see what I can come up with. And see, every freaking time now, I have to come back in here just just for you guys. Every time I come back in here now, I'm going to have to uh, rescale these windows. Because as soon as I end the stream, I don't have to worry about it because I can just throw one off the uh, to the other monitor. All right, so I deploy one. I see whenever I did a reliable just then, two of them spawned. So I'll do another one. You can see it's double spawning. So that is what I'm afraid of. Let's uncheck reliable there. Just spawning one again. Client doesn't see the explosion. So that's not a problem. Uh, I can go back in and fix that in the actual um, drone itself. I'll have to, to redo some of this stuff right here. And uh, yeah, it should be a problem. But like I said, I'll figure it out. And. Um, Just want to make sure that it's working correctly. So I'm going to go in here, fire off one, it finds a target, it goes to it, blows up. If I get all the replication stuff ironed out, I will do um, a couple different versions of the Seeker. I don't know which way I'm going to set it up, but I would like to try the cluster type. I'm also going to have to do um, animation to where, well, for the release version, I don't think I'm going to get, for if, you, if I go with something that I'm going to put on the marketplace, it's going to be a stripped down, basically this. You deploy it, it goes out, does its thing. Um, I'm not going to do anything fancy. But if I do a version that I released for um, selling through Discord, then... I will release maybe uh, 
with an animation. So whenever you hit the number one key, he does a throw animation and maybe throws a, a prediction down of where it's going to go, like a grenade prediction. Make it fancy. But you'll definitely get an animation. You'll turn towards your target. You could actually maybe select your target, or if you're doing a um, like so, you know, just do your your rotation around so that you can actually lay out a crosshair and where you're aiming, it'll actually deploy one out in a throwing motion. You'll throw it towards that direction. And so the the way that, the way that I'm gonna probably end up doing that is set it up like a grenade. You actually throw it, but when it hits the ground, it may bounce or whatever. But you know, whatever it hits the ground, it's then going to become invisible first off, so that you don't. It, it, I can't just destroy the actor and then do other stuff because then we'll be there to do the rest of the blueprint. So I'm gonna have to get it to land on the ground, and then once it hits the ground, then it's going to go invisible by setting visibility of the mesh and to off and then it's going to um, spawn in the current version of the seeker mine so once it lands it'll become one of these and then it'll go off to the to the nearest target um, I'll probably do like a, a sphere trace so that it will try to find the target within that range so Thank you guys for watching. Even though none of you were any freaking help whatsoever, I figured it out. But you guys are my lucky charm. I love you all. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.